guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have a brand new arrival to show you. This is the 2022 Salem Model 26 D-Bud. And this is one of the hottest bunkhouse travel trailers on the market today. And we'll get into that here in a little bit. But this particular travel trailer comes in at 6,890 pounds unloaded. So that's your dry weight and is 33 feet, three inches in overall length. We're gonna do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today, and we're gonna show you some of the new changes and the big reasons why this is one of the most popular bunkhouse travel trailers on the market for 2022. Let's go ahead now and we'll jump on to the inside and we'll start in the living and kitchen area. And man, I tell you, Salem didn't really have to change anything in my opinion from 2021 to 2022 but they did a whole bunch of little updates that I think are just going to push this one over the edge for 2022 for a lot of people. So as you can see right here you're still going to have the Versa Lounge that is a Salem and Wildwood exclusive. Uh, fun little fact if you didn't know Wildwood and Salem are the same trailer they go down the same assembly line they just have different outside graphics. But you do have the Versa Lounge here. Now I have it in L Lounge and Activity Corner uh, mode. So this will face directly at the TV, which we'll see here in just a little bit. You can see all the nice big windows. The side in windows open for ventilation. The big windows that I have the blackout shades pulled down do not open. I wish they did, um, but that would be one thing I'd change. Let me know what you would change on this trailer in the comment section down below. If we take a look at the video that will pop up, this does still have a true U dinette and a sofa arrangement. So if you're looking for that, this one still has you covered. You're also gonna still have the LED accent light up top that is a white in color. I really like that just so many brands use the blue and I don't know it's just different if we look over here right next to the entry door uh, this knob here is new for 2022 this is a dimmer switch so if we rotate this counterclockwise you'll see that the main cabin lights will dim which is kind of a neat feature you're also going to have your water heater on electric switch here uh, because they're using the Dometic water heater the, the switch now is on the inside. And then below that, you're still gonna have your tank monitoring panel, uh, some lighting controls for the, your awning light and the accent lights, water pump, water heater on gas, and your slide out and awning controls. Now we'll probably forget this later, but I really like that power outlet right there. That's a good spot for a coffee maker or phone charger. If we look up top here, this does have the optional 15,000 BTU Coleman Q series air conditioner. Uh, so we've upgraded that from a 13.5 to a 15,000 uh, BTU. The Coleman one is really quiet too, which is nice. And a lot of people really like that, especially when we have a couple of these units plugged in that have these. Um, and I ask your salesperson whether you're looking at, at uh, Custom RV or if you're looking at a different dealer. See if they can plug one in for you and let you hear the difference because man I tell you these Coleman's they are really good ACs. A full-blown Salem if we look down at the floor you'll notice that nice herringbone pattern uh, that's standard throughout the Salem line but a full Salem does have the in-floor ducted heat. Now I know a lot of people don't like that and yes it does have its disadvantages but this is going to give you a little more efficient heat distribution than say cabinet ducted heating. If we look back here at the bunks, these are a double over double bunk. Uh, you're also going to have the nice ladder wall that acts as the uh, framework for these. And if we look down here, this is new. Uh, they open this up for 2022, and this is probably my favorite change. But back here, you have the flip up cargo bunk now which is so cool. They needed to do this about three years ago with this floor plan. I um, absolutely love this. 
Each bunk is going to have its own light and USB charger ports. You also are going to have an emergency egress window back here for the top bunk. Really, it's for both bunks, but... And spinning back around over here, you'll... We'll pass the kitchen and come back to that in a little more detail here in a minute. This is all pressed membrane countertops, by the way, so that's a basically a lightweight solid surface. Notice the accent light under the fireplace. Um, that is a new feature for 2022. They opened this up. It was a lot of de uh, dead space back there, so now you have a, just a mega shoe garage. 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace. That's a standard piece of equipment. You're also going to have your AM, FM, and Bluetooth sound bar. That does have HDMI and USB ports, so you can hook up a DVD player or a gaming system or something. Um, TVs do not come with the Salem's. They're actually not even an option. But you could fit a pretty good sized TV here as well, which is nice with the appropriate connections down below. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the living area. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I almost forgot. Salem's are a lot taller than your average stick and tin unit. These have an 81 inch flat ceiling height. The nice thing about that is that's six foot nine inches instead of a common six foot six inch sidewall. So that's gonna give you a taller slide out. It's gonna give you more space in the bunks, bigger overhead cabinets, more space in the shower, which as a taller person, I can really appreciate. Um, but with that being said, now we're done with the living and kitchen area. Let's go ahead and we'll crack open all this storage and take a look at all of the storage space in this 26D Bud by Salem. And man, I tell you, this trailer has a truckload of storage. So starting right by the entry door, you have this, your first of two pantries. This one's not as deep as the other one, but it's still a good amount of storage space. Um, you've got plenty of room there. It's nice and wide. Uh, I guess if you wanted to, you could take a bunch of these out and make it a coat closet, but I'll show you you don't really need to here in a little bit. Tons of countertop space. Again, four outlets right in this little space, so perfect spot for a coffee maker or phone chargers or whatever you want to use it for. Over here, you're going to have 20.3 cubic feet of storage underneath the Versa Lounge. So there's three totes here. I just have the one pulled out. And then you'll have two more under the dinette. Again, you just have, I just have the one displayed currently. But one thing that I really like that Salem does is this open pocket back here behind the, or under the back section of the U dinette. If you're back there, or if the kids are back there, they can kind of tuck their feet underneath there. Or you can use that for a place to store sodas or drink, or you know, cases of water and stuff, which is really nice. Um, so many brands just don't do anything with that. And I, I really like it. Again, you've got the cargo bunk area right there that we've already talked about. Nice extra pantry space right here next to the bathroom. And you could use this for kids' clothes, kids' duffel bags, dry goods, whatever you really want to use it for. And notice how the shelves don't come all the way to the front. That way you can put a Swiffer or something in there. Which, again, just little things like that I really prefer. Salem's have been using this Everchill fridge for about three and a half years now. But as you can see right here, you have a 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt DC compressor fridge. So the cool thing about that, you can actually run this going down the road. Uh, since a lot of states are making it where you can't run propane going down the road. It also uses 3 amps of power when it's down to temp. It uses 9 to 10 amps per hour whenever it's cooling, but it only takes about two hours or so to cool. You're also going to have your microwave and hood range vent right there. Three burner cooktop with the flip up glass cover, as you can see. And then this, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that this has uh, the electric sparker or the piezo lighter for the oven, and uh, that will spark in the oven as well as the as well as the stove, um, and it's got the blue lights and the light in the oven as well. This was kind of a new feature for 2021. They have this active Susie. This is really cool. 
Um, I really like it. It's uh, three drawers behind a cabinet. It just cleans up the look of the kitchen. Um, we'll go ahead and shut all the three of these. And that's kind of what it looks like all the time. And again, you have the cabinet right there. Plenty of room for a waste basket, and that is a huge cabinet. I absolutely love that. You're gonna have the rollaway aluminum drying rack, dual bowl sink. I know a lot of people like the single bowl, but Salem is still using the, the dual bowl. And there's advantages both ways. You have the high-rise pull-out sprayer faucet. And then up here, you're gonna have nice good storage. Notice that they are using a shelf up here. And then one of the small, again, small changes they made for 2022, you have the white fluted glass door inserts, which looks really good. I like it actually a lot better than the ones they were using last year. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the kitchen. Let's go ahead now, and we will move back to the master bathroom and take a look at it. And I tell you, Salem has always done a really good bathroom in this floor plan. Okay, guys, so as we step into the master bathroom, first thing you'll notice, you have plenty of room around the foot flush lever toilet. This also is a dual entry model, so you have the bathroom uh, accessible entry right here, which is a huge crowd pleaser feature. A lot of people are really looking for that. Uh, as with any Salem, you're going to have a 30 by 36 inch deep shower with the ABS plastic surround panels and the tracked shower curtain. You could be upwards of 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and still shower in here comfortably. Your head will have to be in the bubble, but you still can uh, use this shower. You're also going to have a powered vent fan. Uh, pro tip, I would put a max air vent cover over this. That way you can run this fan on a rainy day. You're also gonna have a light switch for all the lights. That way the kids don't have to climb up on the toilet just to turn on the light at night. Press membrane countertops, nice size sink. You're also gonna have a GFI protected outlet back there. Notice the little dark accent panel they did here. I really like that. That's a new feature for 2022 as well. Medicine cabinet, you do have the mirror. And then if we drop down, you'll notice a little bit extra storage down there, as well as access, I believe, to your water pump. Alrighty, guys. That is going to wrap it up for the bathroom. Let's go ahead and we'll jump up to the master bedroom. And really, this is, it's such a good master bedroom. It's simple, but they've made just a few tweaks to it to make it even better. Let's go take a look. Okay guys, so stepping up into the master bedroom. First thing you're gonna notice, you do have a sliding pocket privacy door here. I just have it latched again, just because this unit came in on transport. Uh, you, this little silver thing is actually a magnet latch for that. That way you can you know, actually keep the door shut all the way. Light switch for your overhead lights. Now this is a 60 by 74 inch camp queen. And I know a lot of people don't like that, but Salem was thinking. They left you enough room to still be able to walk around the bed and put in a residential 60 by 80, 60 by 80 queen if you want. You're going to have household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed as well as the CPAP cubbies, as I call them. So your, your 110 outlets are actually back in the wardrobe. Speaking of the wardrobe, you are going to have the hanging bar up top. And then in the middle here, you're going to have the overhead storage right there as well. If we flip up the bed, it, you'll notice that it is strut supported. You can also access your pass-through storage, as you can see right there. And then you have these neat little cubby hole, or these cubby um, organizers, cube organizers, whatever you want to call them. Um, they kind of act as a dresser. And then you're going to have a shoe garage underneath there as well. This also is going to give us a good opportunity to look at another new feature for 2022. You've got the handy laundry chute. And I love this. It's way better than their previous attempt at one. Um, this one just, it stays out of the way and I absolutely love that. You're going to have cross breeze windows in, inside the bedroom. Again, blackout shades. 
We did order this with the 50 amp service, so you can replace this vent with a second AC if you wanted to. Um, or you could put in one of those big max air fans if you wanted to as well. TV backer over on this wall with the appropriate connections. And then last, but certainly not least, you have this giant closet. So as you can see down in here, plenty of room. Uh, you could use this for kids clothes, mom and dad's clothes, a broom closet, whatever you want. It's your camper. So all right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the interior of this brand new 2022 Salem Model 26 D Bud. Let's go ahead now and uh, we'll show you some changes on the outside. Again, just a couple really cool things to uh, kind of make this one uh, on par with some fiberglass units. So let's go ahead now and we'll see you on the outside right about meow. Okay guys, so we're on the outside of this brand new 2022 Salem Model 26 D Bud. So as you can see, this is a stick and tin or aluminum sided unit. You are gonna have the three piece smooth aluminum and rock guard nose sweep up here. We've got a power tongue jack, two 20 pound propane tanks, but Salem goes the extra mile and gives you the 30 pound tank cover should you wanna upgrade your tanks later. They're also gonna have a seven way plug holder and safety chain clip up on the, uh, the right side of the of the uh, 2 and 5 16 inch ball right there. Then you're going to have a handy battery disconnect and rails for your battery. Coming down the side, and I apologize for the wind noise, of course the wind picks up, I'm recording, but right here is going to be your pass-through storage. We'll take a look at that from the other side. But this is a good opportunity to get down underneath here and show you the enclosed and heated accessibility. Accessibility. I think I said accessibility. That's funny. Um, apparently I can't talk today, but that has the accessibility. It, oh my gosh, I did it again. Accessibility. The nice thing about that is it's four by eight sheets of ABS plastic that you can remove one sheet to work on uh, various components up underneath there that you need to get to. Rack and pinion slide out. That Nothing special about that. As we come back over here, you're going to have your termination, so your black and gray termination. You're also going to have your 50 amp service, city water, black tank flush, and your cable and satellite hookups all in one convenient spot. As we come around to the back side, you'll notice that you have a your six gallon uh, gas electric water heater, your bumper for your stinky slinky, spare tire and spare tire carrier, and then if we pan up here, you'll notice that you do have the prep for the Furion wireless backup or observation camera. As we come around to the door side or the fun side of the trailer, first thing you'll notice is the nice big power awning that does have LED light strips in it. You can also see you have dual entries like we talked about earlier. This back one here has the standard steps so those just are the hover steps, as some people call them. Both of these doors are going to be friction hinge. And then as you can see right here, you have your dual outside speakers, cable and satellite outlet, and you're also going to have your fresh water hookup, as well as a prep for an outside TV. And notice how those speakers, if we get in just a little bit closer, they are backlit, which is pretty cool. Good looking mag wheels. You're also gonna have the back side of your furnace right here and a handy little outside kitchen. So back behind this door is your propane hookup. It's kind of hard to see, but you're gonna have a Suburban Elite Series griddle. Uh, this little thing right here is your spray port. And then of course you have your outside mini fridge. For your front entry, you are going to have the more ride step above steps. These are the easy adjust ones with the little pins that you can push and pull uh, to make adjusting the feet a little easier. And this one has the wider top step. Again, friction hinge entry door. You're also going to have the larger entry assist handle here. And then I almost forgot this trailer 
we have optioned in the power stabilizer jack system as opposed to the manual crank down ones. Just a nice little extra feature that a lot of people really like. And then right here you can see that you do have side mount solar prep. Uh, and new for 2022, you're actually going to have roof mount solar prep. Um, this usually goes where the controller's supposed to go, but they put it there anyway. Um, that's, I don't know why, but. And then last, but certainly not least, you have your pass-through storage. So as you can see, tons of storage space in here. It does wrap around a little bit into the bedroom. Um, these are all magnet holdbacks with, uh, which is nice. That way you don't have to juggle the door or worry about those clips that break. So all right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the 2022 Salem Model 26 D-Bud. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you have any questions, or if you'd like pricing and availability, feel free to leave those comments and questions down in the comment section down below. You can also give me a call at 806-335-2336, or you can shoot me an email at contact at custom-rv.com. Real quick, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button down below, that lets us know how we're doing. And it is, uh, it also helps with uh, promoting our videos to other RV enthusiasts. As always, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to keep you up to date on all of our latest videos. Guys, again, we thank you very much for watching. Remember, at Custom RV, we don't do any, any hidden dealer fees. We leave those up to the big chain dealers. And you don't have to make an appointment either to come view our great selection of travel trailers, fifth wheels, and twin wheels. And always, as always, at Custom RV, we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. Thanks again, guys. Hope to see you out on our lot very soon, and we'll talk to you again later.